Hello, comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your handsome yet humble host, Bill Miller. I'd like to thank you for joining me for the final installment of our Top 100 Pre-Code Jungle Comics. Lorna the Jungle Girl, initially called Lorna the Jungle Queen, is a comic book Jungle Girl protagonist created by writer Don Rico and artist Werner Roth. She debuted in Lorna the Jungle Queen No. 1 in July of 1953, published by Marvel Comics' 1950s predecessor, Atlas Comics. After issue No. 5 in February of 1954, Lorna the Jungle Queen was retitled Lorna the Jungle Girl and ran 21 more issues through No. 26, March of 1954 through August of 1957. A wide variety of cover artists included Carl Burgos, Vince Coletta, Russ Heath, Joe Manili, and Sid Shores. Bill Everett contributed five of the final six issues covers. Rico and artist Jim Mooney initiated the backup feature, Greg Knight, starring a jungle explorer character from the lead feature with Shores, George Tusca, and John Romita Sr. among its later artists. While the character has not appeared in new stories since her original 1950s run, selected adventures were reprinted in the 1970s Marvel comic Jungle Action Numbers 1 through 4, and number 6, October of 1972 through April of 1973 and September of 1973. First, the rules. The comics had to have been published prior to carrying the Comics Code Authority seal, and the title had to primarily be a jungle title. No photo covers are allowed. Lastly, these are not necessarily either the most popular or the most expensive jungle books. They are simply the best jungle comic book covers, in my humble opinion. It was a maddening task to rank numbers 20 to 1, but it was a labor of love. I made a series of five videos with 20 entries in each one, so please join me for the last 20 covers as we count down the top 100 pre-code jungle comic book covers. Right, leading off, at number 20, we have Fight Comics, issue number 73, from Fiction House. Packaged in March of 1951. Although we're not certain, the cover artist is believed to be Maurice Whitman. It looks like Tiger Girl is kicking some gorilla fannies high atop a bridge while her tiger compatriots are watching the scene unfold from down below. The red and purple background colors are incredible. Swinging in at number 19 is Jumbo Comics, issue number 117, also from Fiction House. Produced in November of 1948. Sadly, the cover artist is unknown. I like the Black Panthers, Sheena's flowing blonde locks, and the deep red backdrop. But my favorite part of this image is the incredible leopard-topped totem pole. Wrestling Gorillas with number 18 is JoJo Comics, issue number 12. From Fox. Published in March of 1948. We're not certain, but the cover artist is believed to be Jack Kamen. What a great cover. Jojo swings into action to save his gal pal from a couple of fierce gorillas who have captured her. But what wackiness is this? The primate in front of her seems to be taunting her with a cat's paw on the end of a stick? Absolutely zany. I think this cover appeals to me because Tawny reminds me of Jezebel Jade on the cover of Johnny Quest, issue number 5. Climbing Trees at number 17 is Terrifying Tales, issue number 12, from Star Publications. 
out in April of 1953. The cover artist is L.B. Cole. What a crazy cover. Our jungle dame is in bondage with a fire nearly burning her. A giant leopard leaps, knocking a man through the air. We have warriors in the background, colors galore, and what may be a medicine man in the foreground with a skull wand and an incredible jester-styled mask. Throwing Spears at number 16 is All Top Comics, issue number 11. From Fox. Hitting the stands in May of 1948. Although not positive, the cover artist is believed to be Matt Baker. A wonderful image, from the bright red backdrop to the ferocious boar in action. Rula looks amazing as she battles the boar with only her trusty blade and her boundless determination. Wielding a shield at number 15 is Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, issue number 3. From Fiction House. Hitting the shelves in March of 1943. The cover art is by Dan Zolnerowicz. A gorgeous blue backdrop joins lush, detailed vegetation and a beautifully drawn Sheena, dagger in hand, as she battles a huge ape-like monstrosity. Panthering in at number 14 is Zoot Comics, issue number 15, from Fox. In circulation in June of 1948. Unfortunately, we do not know the identity of the cover artist. My three favorite things with this cover are the colors, the colors, and the colors. Rula is fighting a handsy gorilla with a gorgeous red-shaded panther lurking in the background. The reds and yellows nearly leap off of the cover. Running with number 13 is Jumbo Comics, issue number 97. From Fiction House. Sold in March of 1947. Yet again, we do not know the cover artist. We have a lovely damsel in distress, in bondage, fire, pistols, and a mace-wielding Sheena leaping into the fray. However, my favorite part of this image might be the luscious shades of green in the background. Snaking in with number 12 is Zago, Jungle Prince, issue number 4. From Fox. Printed in March of 1949. The cover artist is Matt Baker. Zago swings in at the last instant to rescue this damsel from a powerful panther paw swipe. The red backdrop is great, and our mystery jungle gal is drawn beautifully. Growling at number 11 is Terrifying Tales, issue number 13, from Star Publications. Sold in June of 1953. The cover art is by L.B. Cole. Over the last few years, this issue has certainly gained in both notoriety and value. Our zebra-bedazzled jungle heroine is under the watchful gaze of Satan himself. Nearly lost in the flames are incredible drawings of native warriors. Two parts jungle, one part horror. At number 10, we have Jojo Comics, issue number 25. From Fox. Packaged in March of 1949. The cover art is by Matt Baker. Tani is in bondage as Jojo bullwhips a native baddie. I like the yellow backdrop, the detailed foliage in the foreground, and Tani is drawn nearly to perfection. 
Hammocking with number 9 is All Top Comics, issue number 13. Also from Fox. Seeing print in September of 1948. We're not positive, but the cover art is believed to be by Jack Kamen. Here we have Rula being a gold brick and lying down on the job. Her life is in danger as she is within the sights of both a charging rhinoceros and a pouncing panther. Will Rula survive? We may have to read the issue to find out. Knifing at number 8 is Jumbo Comics, issue number 44. From Fiction House. Published in October of 1942. The cover art is by Dan Zilnerowicz. I like the green background and the fierce temper of the knife-wielding Sheena. However, the best part of this cover is the fantastic collared and chained massive gorillas. They are stupendous. Stampeding at number 7 is Zoot Comics, issue number 10. From Fox. Out in November of 1947. The cover art is by Jack Kamen. Glorious colors, a beautifully rendered Rula, a malevolent ape, a heavy blade suspended from a tree by a rope and a skull and bones. What else could you need? Reigning on number six is Terrifying Tales, issue number 15. From Star Publications. Hitting the shelves in April of 1954. The cover art is by L.B. Cole. I really do like this cover. We have a heaping helping of horror with this image. A lovely jungle damsel with dagger in hand, a large slavering alligator, and gorgeous lustrous colors. This image gives me a wonderful post-impressionism vibe. Chirping at number 5 is Jojo Comics, issue number 11, from Fox. Hitting the stands in February of 1948. The cover artist is Jack Kamen. Hubba and Hubba. We have a Cayman cutie on our hands in the form of Jojo's gal pal. She is in bondage, held perilously above a leopard ready to slash, a lion ready to bite, and an elephant ready to trample. Will Jojo be able to rescue our jungle damsel in time? Hunting with number four is Terrors of the Jungle, issue number four. From Star Publications. Printed in April of 1953. The cover art is by L.B. Cole. This cover contains a vibrant cacophony of colors punctuated by a blood-red sky. Our jungle dame is certainly in Dutch as she is within the clutches of a fantastic roaring dinosaur. Will our hero be able to swoop in and save her? This image screams horror. Pieing at number three is Jumbo Comics, issue number 19. From Fiction House. On sale in September of 1940. The cover art is by Bob Powell. What a Jim Dandy cover. We have Sheena, a poor sap in chained bondage a rifle-toting hunter, and the most glorious, monstrous gorilla a mind can possibly imagine. The deep red backdrop helps set the violent scene. Monkeying around with number two is Zoot Comics, issue number 11. From Fox. Printed in December of 1947. 
The cover artist is Jack Kamen. Rula is drawn quite fetching in this image. She is in bondage, but in a very unusual and seemingly painful way. She is suspended above a hole by a tree branch under her arms, along with a rope controlled by a couple of baddies. Even more frightening, in the pit beneath her is a trio of deadly cobras. And leaping in at number one is Terrors of the Jungle, issue number 17. From Star Publications. In circulation in May of 1952. The cover art is by L.B. Cole. This cover ran away with the top prize for me. A wonderful kaleidoscope of colors are on display. We have our jungle queen in bondage, being burned at the stake. Horrific shrunken heads. Gloriously crafted witch doctor mass and a skull for good measure. Jungle and horror all wrapped up in one. And that will do it for numbers 20 through 1 as we finish counting down the top 100 pre-code jungle comics. I hope you enjoyed the series and I hope you got to see some books you either haven't seen before or haven't seen in quite some time. Please leave a comment and tell me your thoughts. Do I have some ranked too high or too low? Or there are some that shouldn't have made the list at all? I'd love to hear your feedback, and don't forget to join me for the next series as we count down the top 500 pre-code superhero comics.